Hello. I'd like to welcome you to my classroom. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm not really here. Unfortunately, I had a prior commitment, so I wasn't able to come to the open house. I'm very happy that you showed up. I love working with parents, and uh, I'm always happy to see parents who are interested in the success of, the, the success of their students. So, a little bit about me. Um, my name is Dr. Kevin Seeley. Uh, a lot of the kids, or <clears throat> the kids in general, call me Doc. I spent about 25, 30 years as a scientist in the biotech field, doing all kinds of fun stuff with genetic engineering and drug manufacturing and all that kind of stuff. So this is my retirement. I decided I wanted to retire, and I couldn't think of anything better to do than to try to communicate some of what I've learned and some of what I've done over the decades to uh, some of the kids. So I uh, got together with the uh, state of New Hampshire, and they decided that they would go ahead and issue certifications based on my experience, and I've had some great experience. I love working here at Ware with John Stark Regional High School, and uh, I've had a great time here. I've been here about three years. I'm happy to have your kids in my class. Uh, I was excited at the end of summer just for the opportunity to come back and start to work with them. Now, uh, let's see. What about me? So, one of the things that I like to try to bring to my class is the opportunity to learn how to think like a scientist. And to do that, some of the things that I really try to ingrain into the kids is, first off, a, a feeling of personal responsibility. Kids in my classes are general juniors and seniors, and I try very hard to get them to own <clears throat> the work that they do so that they will be more successful in the end. One of the things that I try to do is get them to accept failing, failing towards success. So if you make a mistake, that's good. That's an opportunity to go ahead and fix that mistake and learn even more from it. So we don't look at failure as being off the table. Failure is part of science. Failure teaches you things. And so that's one of the areas where I try to work with these kids in the hopes that they can accept the failure repair it, and then move forward to improve their chances of success. I try to teach them to question the norms. They're at a stage in their high school careers where less and less is known for certain. It isn't just known, it is also what you think about it. So we try to get kids to think a little bit more. The main thing is that I get kids to use data to make arguments. We do a lot of labs both in the chemistry and in the AP biology. And those labs are the things that allow the students to test and understand and fail and succeed and use the data in order to make those kinds of decisions. So I have a little bit of different philosophy. I have three different classes. I'm not sure which one you're here for. I have the basic chemistry, where we focus primarily on the social impacts. Certainly we do the chemistry. I know that they're probably not going to become chemists, but they can still learn how to think a little bit differently, and they can learn a little bit about their world. In the accelerated chemistry, we do a little bit more heavily math-based types of things, and in those math-based types of things, they're going to learn how to understand the principles of chemistry at a higher level, which will be something that will take them into college and hopefully make them successful. In my AP Biology class, one of the things I'm trying to teach them to do is to think like a college student. We're using the biology, we're using the, the <clears throat> topics, but we're really teaching them how to think and act like a college student so that when they get to college, their chances of success will be improved. Um, I left here some sheets about me. You may have already seen them if your kids brought them home, if they didn't remember to bring them home. Feel free to take a copy. I also left here some uh, blank three by five cards. And if you have any specific question you'd like to ask me, uh, please feel free to leave that behind and uh, I'll, I'll be happy to respond to them. I can always be reached at my kevin.seely, that's S-E-E-L-E-Y, at jsrhs.net. 
and I'm happy to talk to you if you have any questions. I, you, usually I, I prefer to talk about the success of the students. That's always the funnest. So uh, with that said, if you have any questions, again, I, I welcome your kids to the year. And, I'm, and I am sorry that I uh, was not able to attend and be able to meet you face to face. And I hope you have a very nice night. Thank you very much.